Hey what's up everyone this is your host Manik and I welcome you all to another video on this channel So it's about time when OnePlus closed off its open beta program for OnePlus 6 and 60 and I promised myself to support these devices for as long as I can as you guys still love these and they are pretty good for the price even in 2020 So today we have an open beta 15 port from OnePlus 7 for both of these devices and in this video I will be covering everything about it from installation guide to battery life so without further delay let's get into it so if you wish to stay notified about the latest videos do click on that subscribe button and press the bell icon next to it and the instructions to flash this port is at the end of this video so make sure you tighten up your seat belts if you don't want to miss out on that and the process is really easy you just need an unlock bootloader and that's it more on that later so this open beta 15 port has all the features you already have on official oxygen os on these devices so the status bar here surely looks different and the volt icons are a bit different too with this port so they take up less space in the status bar and then you get more room for other important notifications like your tinder matches just kidding but seriously it is good to have the extra space you also get the latest june security patch with this one and that my dear friends is always appreciated apart from that we have a lot of options for ambient display and i really like the options that are provided so you can customize it as per your liking and there are a lot of good options to choose from and i wish they were present in the official stock rom too but that is where we can appreciate the developers for bringing this stuff out apart from that horizon light is still here and it works perfectly and 60 users will appreciate it more because it makes up for missing led notification and another new thing is in dialer where you can see all frequently dialed contacts so that is handy to have apart from this the fingerprint scanner works just fine as they did on both of these devices they are quick and responsive too now coming to what is not working on these devices and some of the issues i found out so the first thing would be long press shortcuts in the recent tab so they just don't work i know most of you just don't use it but keep that in mind and the instant translation feature too will not work as it is an exclusive feature and apart from that the quick launch gesture is also not working as of now and none of this is a much required feature that will stop you from flashing this room so you can ignore these tiny things but what you can't ignore is battery life and gaming performance so i tested out pubg on extreme and smooth settings and the game ran great in fact i did observe much less heat up then stock room in my 3 days of continuous testing and i was surprised with that and you can try it out too and let me know if it works out the same for you too the battery life was also on par as compared to stock oxygen os 10 on our devices so i got around 5 hours in 30 minutes with some gaming and 4.5 hours with one hour of pubg which is definitely good to conclude i would like to say that it is definitely one of the best oxygen os ports for our devices and it is pretty much stable with some new and refreshing features too so go ahead and flash it out and do share the experience you have with it in the comments down below and yes here is a guide to flash this room so first of all make sure that the bootloader of your device is unlocked and after that just download the zip file from link in description area make sure you are on oxygen os 10 for the best compatibility now unzip the downloaded file and connect your phone in fast boot mode to your pc and you can do that by long pressing on the power and volume key at the same time so after connecting it to pc open the folder you extracted and now just click on the file ending with flash all wipe dot bat and wait for the next 5 to 7 minutes till your device restarts and do ignore any error that you see on the screen it's normal so when the device will boot up you will get an error message as well so that is also normal So now you are done, and you have rebooted to the latest Oxygen OS 10 Open Beta 15 port from OnePlus 7. So do let me know your experience in the comments down below, and like this video if it helps you out, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one.